This is not financial nor professional advice. This video is for entertainment only. Hey everyone, today I want to show you some technology from Xpeng that caught my attention. It's none other than a flying car. Now, I don't think this will become that practical in real life, but a company that can accomplish this is capable of accomplishing many things, and they are showing that uh, to investors, uh, as I will describe as we go on. But first, I want you to take a look at what they've been able to accomplish uh, in the impossible realm, uh, which is what you have to accomplish when you're trying to compete with Tesla. <clears throat> it's important to know that XPeng makes mainly uh, electric cars, and that's the main source of their business. <clears throat> and what I'm going to show you uh, hasn't really been sold much, if at all. Uh, but it's, it is impressive. And if they can, like I say, if they can accomplish this, they can accomplish many other things to compete with Tesla. Looks like your average electric car. So you emerge from your fortress of solitude, go to a nearby mountaintop or river, and sprout your helicopter <laughs> fans, and you're off to Metropolis to save the city. Or maybe you're Batman. Maybe you're going to Gotham City. <laughs> but they can produce this for about $150,000, which is so impressive. The average helicopter costs one or two million. This helicopter car flies for about 35 minutes and it can go about 50 miles in that time. They've made test models and they have many flying hours on these test models, but it won't go into mass production until 2024. It turns out that <clears throat> flying cars are really uh, helicopters on wheels, <clears throat> as Elon Musk put it. And there's several reasons for that. One reason is that they don't go that fast and they fly at low altitudes, so they don't interfere with uh, major airlines. Uh, and also they don't go that fast because how do you control the airspace? Uh, this goes about 85 miles an hour uh, and you can bring a helicopter to a full stop if you have to. You can't do that, of course, with an aircraft. Uh, and it has to go much faster to maintain the flight. And it's much more maneuverable. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons for that. But it's impressive that they can make this piece of technology and make it look like a car. And it's 150000 when real helicopters cost so much more. I don't think helicopters, at least in major cities, I, I live near Phoenix, <laughs> I don't want the sky filled with helicopter cars, uh, more or less, uh, because they have a parachute if if the thing crashes, I guess. Uh, but that's not much consolation. Uh, you know, if you had tens of thousands of helicopter cars in the air, uh, there would be accidents. Uh, and I, you would have to worry as a pedestrian uh, about falling helicopters or parts coming off a helicopter even or, or something being dropped. A flying car? How about everyone around you has a flying car too? Oh, <laughs> that doesn't sound so good. Uh, so I don't think it's, it's practical in that sense, uh, but I, I think hel helicopter cars can work to an extent as long as there's not too many of them. Uh, it, helicopters work because there's only a few things using them, like the military, the police, uh, medical personnel, that kind of thing. But And they go slow enough that they can see each other. Uh, and so that's the major advantage. Uh, but I think the main thing was how impressive it is that they were able to, to pull this off at a price that, you know, a multimillionaire could, could probably afford. When people think of Chinese electric car makers, they usually think of NIO, uh, N-I-O, 
And NEO has made a total of about 150,000 electric cars, uh, which they've sold in China. Uh, Xpeng has sold a hundred, over 100,000 electric cars. So they're catching up qu quickly. And Xpeng outsold NEO in October and November. Uh, and their, their sales keep increasing. So Xpeng looks to be the one to beat, as far as I can see. Uh, they have three electric cars and they're planning uh, to build uh, an electric SUV. They have a, an assisted driving feature that they, they plan on it becoming autonomous. So they're directly following <laughs> Tesla and this uh, X pilot, they call it, uh, X and then the word pilot, uh, it, it keeps being upgraded. They keep improving it. Uh, and I think uh, they're, they're striving to be the Chinese Tesla. Uh, so I, I think this is a very tradable stock. Uh, I call it a tradable stock because that's the way I treat it. Uh, I buy it when it's in the low 40s and sell it uh, when it gets in the high 40s or close to 50. If, if it gets close to 50, uh, I, th I start thinking of selling it. Uh, but I'm a buyer in the low 40s. Uh, and I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to buy Chinese stocks, but I'm doing it as a swing trade. So it's not a long term. Uh, in my mind, it, it, the long term thing is always Tesla. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to really catch up with them. Uh, but I think uh, they are providing a service and they will be a force within their own country for sure. Looking at the chart, you can see that it's a very respectable $40 billion market capitalization. Uh, so it's a, it's a large stock and it's, it's going to be around and it's here to stay. It recently went down below 44 on December 3rd. <clears throat> and so it's, it's come up to like 47, 48. Uh, it's in the last year, it's been as high as 60 and it's been as low as in the 20s. So I think the stock is catching on because people can see the growth and how it's outgrowing NEO in China now and how their plan is similar to Tesla's. And so I, I, th <clears throat> I think inherently they're on the right track. Uh, so I think uh, this is one for a swing trade. Uh, if you want to do long term, uh, catch Tesla on, on a downturn. Uh, this is the way the stock will act too. It, it will tend to follow uh, Tesla to an extent, although it kind of has its own market in, in China. It's a competitor uh, of Tesla, but I think Tesla is like the Bitcoin of electric vehicles. <laughs> the the other electric companies follow it to some extent with some, some differences here and there, uh, depending on how positive news you're getting on Tesla. And we get more positive news every day. It's a temptation not to buy it every day in my book. Xpeng's earnings growth rate is about 29%. So it's a hot, high growth stock. <clears throat> if you've made it this far in the uh, video, thanks a lot. And I will try to keep you updated on what's the hottest thing on my mind at the moment, <laughs> as I'm an active trader. And I, I like to uh, hold stocks when they're hot. And I like to get out of them when the market tries to take a dump on me. <laughs> I won't let that happen. So. I will see you in the future.